Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Log, and welcome back to another episode on the Cubic Cauldron server! I am back, everybody, I'm back. I had an absolutely amazing holiday, um, a little bit of a sneak peek into what I'm doing. Um, it was fantastic, I got to meet some people that I've really wanted to meet for quite a while, and it was awesome and fun and I got fat off all the food that I ate because I ate like a pig because that's what you do when you're on holidays. Um, it was fantastic. I'm feeling super rested and just chilled and yeah, I think that's probably why I've been doing what uh, I've been doing on the server since I've gotten back. Um, when did I get back? I got back on uh, Sunday and I'm recording this on Wednesday so I've had a couple of days to relax and chill and sort of talk to my friends and tell them about my trip, which is fun. And um, over the last couple of days, I've actually been doing what I'm about to show you here. You can see in my inventory, I've got an absolute ton of diorite and nether slabs and white stained glass panes, paints, yes, paints. Um, and this is why. Yes, yes, I've finally decided my nether tunnel was too boring. It was netherrack all the way from spawn to my base it was netherrack and it was boring and crappy and it did not reflect me or my style of building in any way so I decided to change it um, nether brick and diorite is what I've gone with because that's like the first thing you see really when you walk in through the portal um, is my big bridge which is made mostly out of diorite and nether brick. Um, I have these furnaces here cooking up some netherrack into nether bricks um, mostly because I went through all the nether actual nether brick blocks that I had. I hear a gust. Um, yeah I went through all the nether brick like super super quickly uh, and you can see that I've actually been doing quite a lot of work. So this is the theme that I've got so it goes you know from here it goes diorite and then I've got lava with the white stained glass. Uh, this level here is where I'm actually, like these are the full blocks. This is a half slab, full block, half slab. Um, this is where the track is going to be once I finish it off. Um, so that, you know, nothing will be able to spawn. I'm pretty sure pigmen can't spawn on tracks. I'm not 100% sure. That's something I will have to double check. I'm pretty sure they can't. Um, if they can't, then I won't bother putting a row of glass along here, which is what I was going to do originally, was put uh, some clear glass along this level. This level? Yeah. Uh, so that your head goes through it and nothing can spawn on it. But I'm pretty sure they can't spawn on tracks. I need to double check. I need to double check. Um, but this is what I've been doing, and you can see that this is just extends all the way there. Um, this is what I was up to, was putting the glass in here. Um, I have to say a big thank you to Lariella. She actually gave me an absolute ton of glass uh, because, I don't know, she said she didn't need it and I was like, well, I'll take it off your hands, you know. I'm not going to complain. I need all the glass I can get because I'm going to be using quite a bit of it. Um, but this is what I've been up to for the last, like, I don't know, a couple of hours uh, over the last few days. It's probably taken me, blah, I'd say about, sorry about that one. Just got a phone call from my phone company hassling me, I guess, um, asking me if I wanted to change my internet plan. But, uh, you know, phone companies always want you to do something, I guess. Uh, but yeah, since this... <laughs> Let's just get back to the actual Minecraft because nobody cares about phone companies. Um, this is what I've been doing. I think the pattern is pretty chilled. It's really nice, relaxed. Um, you know, it suits my style of building and, you know, it's good. I didn't want to go over the top with like any sort of crazy pattern using like quartz or anything that's super pain in the butt to get. Um, the good thing about the nether brick is that having dug out this tunnel, like, I mean, originally it was just a two by three or something. You guys would have, you know, you've seen it. You've seen me go through this tunnel enough. Um, so I had to dig it out into, you know, a couple of extra blocks on either side. And that's given me like a couple of chests full of netherrack. And I never thought I would say this, but 
thank god for the netherrack. Like, if I hadn't had all this netherrack, oh man, I, I don't know what I would have been doing. Like, I would have had... I just heard a creepy noise. Um, I would have had to have maybe, like, gone and torn down, like, an entire fortress? At least an entire fortress? Like, the amount of nether brick that I've used so far is pretty ridiculous. Like, this tunnel was... This is a long tunnel, and I ridiculously long tunnel um, and I haven't even finished just this one little stretch of it uh, the reason I'm doing the part that I'm doing if I'm out of glass already um, if you're wondering is because I'm not exactly like each of these so this is five long with a sixth block there and then it's five and then a sixth block um, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't have to move all my tunnels, um, tunnels, all my uh, portals down over at my base because linking them up is a huge pain in the butt, like a massive pain in the butt. Um, I had some issues linking up the ones that I've got linked up there and I just didn't want to have to deal with that. Have I used all the glass? No. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got an absolute ton of white stuff. White well, a ton of glass, um, because I'm going to need a lot of it. Uh, and I'm hoping, like, I've got a fair bit of diorite. I figured I was going to need, m well, figured I was, well, what is going on? Um, figured I was going to need more than what I have. I may, I may not. Uh, we'll see what happens after I finish building most of the tunnel. Um, I really hope I don't need too much more because I don't really want to go mining for more because it's a pain in the butt. Boom, that's plenty of glass. That's probably more than I need. Um, but yeah, this is this is my tunnel, and you know, it's tunnely. And <clears throat> shut up, pig man. Um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what I've been up to. Uh, you know, only having been back for a few days. So I am probably going to finish this off off camera. Um, just wanted to show you the boring process that I've been doing for the last few hours of this tunnel building. Uh, but once I've got this done, I'll probably bring you back, show you the final end product, I guess. Ugh. Placing panes is hard. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys once I've got this all finished. Alright guys and girls, I'm back. Um, I have a couple of things to show you and then I've got a clip that I recorded with Flues and uh, Lariella was there but she didn't do much talking. She's very quiet. Um, so the first thing I want to show you, uh, I'll head up here. Uh, uh, this is what I was working on before I went on holidays. It's the next floor up after my lobby type thing. Uh, so we get up here and this is it here guys. This is what I did. I used prismarine, um, sea lanterns again and red sandstone I believe it is. Um, and it's my portal. It's the portal I'm going to use to get in and out of my base. I did say that that portal down over there you can't see it it's on the other side of the wall um, is basically for visitors and this is the one you know if they can't be bothered running all the way out back there um, this is the one to use that will get you back to my little hub um, but yeah I decided to do glass on this side so that you can sort of look out and you know there's, there's not a lot to see and at the moment it's snowy and rainy and yeah but you can you know you can see the mountains over here um, that sort of stuff there uh, but yeah that, that's you know, it's pretty simple, pretty simple. Um, if we head through into the nether, I think I want to face this way. I always get turned around. Uh, there we go. Uh, um, so that's the portal that people will be going through to get to my base. Uh, I'm going to have this one here, which is the one that leads into my actual base. Um, I'm going to have that hidden away, probably behind like a redstone door thing. Um, um, that guy. 
I'm looking for a fence gate. Huh, I thought I had a couple. Um, I put this bad boy here, it's because zombie pigmen can still spawn on eh, like these blocks here uh, because they're not half slabbed, which is why I had this half slab on my, um, my thing there. So it, they, they were occasionally walking down and like coming in here and a few of them were walking on the the pressure plate and setting off some minecarts. Um, I need to figure out something to do here. This door is, I don't know, they seem to knock on the door and kick it down, but what I want to show you is, uh, silence, my tunnel. Um, I have put half slabs along the tracks. Um, I was not going to do it because I was worried that it would join up with the glass, but as you can see it doesn't. And this bad boy leads all the way back to spawn. Back to the spawn nether hub. Um, it was a huge pain in the butt to build. I totally, totally underestimated how many nether brick and like glass and diorite and just everything that I would need. Totally, totally, totally underestimated it. Like, it was probably twice as much as I thought I was going to need. Um, and I have to give a big shout out to Lariella and a slightly smaller shout out to Mansena who donated um, some diorite and glass and uh, helped me a little bit get some to get some of the, the nether brick and stuff. Uh, a big thanks to you two because without it I would probably still be building this huge, horribly long tunnel. I, d I, d I don't know why I decided to do it. I Maybe I, I must have just got, I think I just got sick of looking at that netherrack all the way along and also partly because Lariella was spamming the place with torches. Um, it is a little bit chunky, laggy, um, you, can, uh, you can't tell because I don't have my frames uh, up on the screen but because of all the flowing lava there is actually a little bit of like frame lag as you come through this tunnel. Uh, which is really unfortunate and I didn't think about that before I started building it. If I had of, I would have come up with a different design that didn't involve all the flowing lava. Um, I could go back and fill it all in with source blocks, but I'm, I'm not going to. No, no chance. Not, no, just no. Um, so sorry everybody, but you're just going to have to deal with some frame lag when you head over to my base. I know most of you aren't going to be going over there very often, if at all, so... Uh, and this is what I wanted to show you coming up here. I will let it speak for itself. Oop. This is my little entrance room. Um, again, half slabs are here to stop things spawning on the tracks. Um, I have put fence gates here to stop zombie pigmen walking in, because they were. Um, the glass here so you can look out even though the white glass is actually really like obstructive and it's you can't really see out very well um, you can sort of kind of also again I didn't want a lot of flowing lava around so I just did you know those bits there um, I am gonna eventually put something here it's probably gonna be like my coat of arms on a banner coat of arms I still have no idea what I'm going to do for it. It's going to be something on a banner. Um, and yeah, it'll be like here with some armor stands or something. Some little like... I, I was going to say nativity scene, but that, that is not... It's not right. Nativity scenes are for like Christmas and stuff. But yeah. Um, and I'm also considering putting in like another column here with some glowstone just to light this place up because like along here it's pretty dark. I mean, nothing's going to spawn, but yeah. Um, and I got one more thing to show you before I flick over to the clip with Flues and Larry. It's this guy here. He's our little friend. Um, he's been hanging around in the nether hub for a couple of weeks and I figured, you know, he hasn't died. He hasn't been killed by pigmen or ghasts or blaze or players, surprisingly. Um, so I decided to name him. And I don't know if you can catch it. I gotta keep... Let's... Eh. Nope. Eh. Nope. Eh. There we go. It's Portal Bunny. Because he hangs out in the portal room. 
So I've just fenced him in. I think eventually what I'm probably going to do is put a, a fence post here and then just use a lead and attach him to the lead because I'm pretty sure you can attach him. What is that? Big man. Weird. Um, I'm pretty sure you can attach leads, leads to bunnies. Um, and then we just sort of have a semi free roaming bunny, kind of. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Um, I'm going to put that clip in with Blues and Larry, but if you like the episode, let me, let me, let me, let me do that. If you like the episode, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to spin around in circles, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See, now, now with Larry, Ellen, and Moose, this, this part is a lot prettier yeah. than it used to be. Yeah. And also the also the gazebo part thing, the I kept with the theme of the uh, Mediterranean type garden that I started over there, and uh, included this here. I think what I need is actually actually to plant an acacia somewhere around here and grow it until it's just right, and then I think it's going to feel correct. But otherwise, Ouch. yeah, it's uh, mostly a pattern of uh, of fences, stone and. And wood and clues love pants. Did, <laughs> was that you? I, I didn't do anything. No, no, no. Yeah, that was you. All right. <laughs> what we're also going to do today, we're going to actually finally visit uh, Moses' base. Oh, oh, I, I just realized looking at my bar, I, I renamed my bow. I have a power four, punch two, and breaking three, flame one, infinity one bow. And I gave it a name, as you saw on the screen. Because my sword is Ludi, my bow is bowfish. Ludi and the bowfish. <laughs> Musalog gets it. <laughs> oh my god. Spring rolls three for Lariella. Alright. Spring rolls. <laughs> Why three? As I already did one and two on other servers. I see. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is a very pretty gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boom. Hi. I probably sound like crap. Well, or do that, I still sound that, pretty? You know that if, if crap sounds like that, I want more crap. Whee. There we go. Um, so we want to go through Whee. this one. Not that one. No, not that one. That one leads into into my actual base. This leads to like the entrance. I say entrance. The entrance area. Yes. Yeah. Which is still. I, I do remember that initially you had problems and it's the other way, right? Didn't it? Yeah. Like when you got out? Um, I guess it depends on which way you face when you go into the portal, I think. But. That could be. It was, yeah, it did face me the other way. But, um, yeah, this is mm. this is my big ass bridge. It's big. Yeah, it's the big it's the big ass bridge. Yes. yes Where's like. the ass of the bridge? Um, right here. It's right, right in the middle. Behind you. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, I will point this out, but what I love most about this bridge is probably just the slight, oops, the slight angle change down there. At the, the in the butt. in the in the yeah in the butt in the in like the, butt. the butt crack area in the butt crack the area. Slight angle, yeah, slight yeah. angle change. Yeah, I, <laughs> I wanted great. I wanted them to really sort of, looks... I just I wanted oh. them to curve as opposed to just being like straight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, then this is my little path, which will eventually have stuff around it. I'm gonna move this, all this junk, and then this is my villager farm. I have ah, villagers. villagers. Mm -hmm. um, I've been trying to get some more farming villagers so that I can get an auto villager thing happening, but I'm lazy and gave up on it for now. Uh, like it's amazing bad of luck that you didn't get more farming villagers. Frankly, yeah, because. I've, I've, I've only got because the odds two. are not that low. <laughs> no, I seem to get a lot of like butchers, which is really mm -hmm. just frustrating. Do you have to remove the snow periodically? Uh, no, it just sort of comes and goes. I don't, I don't mind it being there. It's fine. It, it's fine. It's fine. It ain't no problem. Yeah, I sort of didn't. You, really you sure love diorite. Nah, it's, it's... Diorite is definitely a texture I need to improve in my texture pack because it's kind of... It's a bit... Not quite... 
I don't know. I like, I like it mostly because it's the closest thing to quartz without actually it having to be quartz. And right. quart, quartz is my favorite block in the game. Mm -hmm. One can tell. Yeah. Um, I mean, it would be the stained clays, but they... Well, the white stained clay is pink. So, you know, there's that. Um, so if you want to drop down and then you can get off at the first little level. I, I don't understand what what's going on. Drop, there oh, you go. okay. Bye. Uh, <laughs> but we, we can start down here, it's fine. I, yeah, but I, I, no, I just didn't know how to stop. This is the first time I see such a, such a strange thing. It's a, it's a minecart elevator. I, clearly, yeah. <laughs> um, so this is, this is my basement room type thing. Uh, at the moment it's for enchanting and potions and stuff, and then I've got a little dock thing happening. Ah, which I just fell off. Mm -hmm. um, out here and conveniently one can get back on the dock yes yes i made it like that just in case i fell off because yes. i tend to do and that the, and the melons uh, there the is there a reason for the melons um for in the uh, potions i just i, I know but i mean okay i thought i mean they were they're pretty obvious there they, they don't oh, yeah, yeah they're, they're not camouflaged at all no no they're not they're, <laughs> not, they're definitely not staying there i just put them down for some melon when i was making potions for when i went and uh cleared out one of the ocean monuments took me a second there. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah, so this is sort of what's going on in this room. I still need to finish off the potion area because it's mm. a bit crap at the moment, as you can see. Um, but yeah, then it stands directly on the floor. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, but if mm -hmm. you come up to the I... next level. Oh. Okay. There we go. Help. <laughs> so you want to click into the minecart that's in front of you when you get up to here. There you go. What do, what do I do? Shift out. There you go. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Um, this that's is my scary. <laughs> this is my storage room. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm hoping that this is going to be enough storage. If not, I might. I don't know. Have to extend it up or something. I haven't really thought that far ahead. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I don't have to do any more work to it. Um, but Ooh. then that's my my stained glass window of an old school Game Boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one one can recognize it. Yeah, it's one block too short, but that's because of the me just sucking at building things. Mm -hmm. You forgot the start and select. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Dear. Granted, there's probably isn't enough room, but. Damn it. I failed. Um, and then if you want to go all the way up, I haven't actually showed people this yet, but I'll put this in my episode because yep. I, I am recording. But just come all the way up, and <laughs> and this is my portal yeah. room, which yeah. is still needs five more sets of armor, and then i got to dye them all. But then, yeah. Oh, that's... my food disappeared. Oh, that's, that's sad. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got done so far. And there's going to be one more room up top, which is going to be my bedroom, but I haven't even started clearing that out yet, just because I'm lazy. I see. Yeah, um, and then you can just go through this portal, it'll take you straight back into my little nether hub area. Your ne nether nub. My nether nub, yes. <laughs> yeah. Nether nub. That, that's my base, it's like a weird castle that's in a mountain and yeah. sort of congratulations doesn't... on being able to use red sandstone by the way thanks I... it's not easy using yeah. <laughs> making stuff look good with uh, red sandstone yeah not easy I, I wasn't too sure about it it's really bright and like a little bit garish but then yeah i think it sort of fits with the, like the Green? Is that green? I don't know. I'm colorblind. Well, it's a, it's a, you could say it's teal or uh, it's teal or turquoise or yeah. So it's a blue green or a sea like, green. If you yeah, will. yeah. But I think it sort of works fairly well. The only the only problem I have is that there's no prismarine stairs, so I had to use yeah, like, I know. just regular. Brick. Mojang, why no prismarine stairs? What's wrong? I know. With I you? I'm really hoping in 1.9 they add in like diorite and granite and andesite and Ooh, prismarine slabs nice. stairs. Like, I've heard nothing that... about that, but you know about the uh, what's it called the the the, the chorus uh, 
you know the purple the stairs yeah yeah, yeah, yeah the, the purple bricky things yeah, yeah. Those, that's gonna be a thing they look in the... interesting i don't know if i like the mm -hmm. color but i'm definitely gonna have to try and use it when we, when yeah. we well you know we we wondered if we like the color of uh of this and this and uh, we end up being able to use them <laughs> yeah that's true uh, but what uh, let me i can tell you in advance that they're gonna it's gonna that purple is gonna look fantastic next to sandstone oh uh, yeah 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 it's definitely gonna work with a lot of stuff i just mm -hmm. i like i haven't looked at any of the snapshots yet so uh I've been You're saving it for the surprise. Yeah, I've been holding out. I wanna, I wanna experience all the new stuff. Why is this zombie pig man drowning himself, dude? Well, you know, that's whoops. Well, I mean, this is like uh, obviously one of the best places to uh, grind for um, wither skeleton skulls because we amount. just killed a wither today, and we need we need more. Yeah. Well, I. <laughs> had looting three pretty much since I got a diamond sword and I still haven't got a single with a skeleton skull I, want I, I, I got one today so I know it's possible uh, it's definitely possible I've seen them drop they've just not been mine there's one that was mine correct one one oh wow where did that go? Ah! Holy crap! Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Put your armor back on? Yes. 